Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk through how you're gonna set up an ad account if you don't already have one set up for your ad campaign. So let's go ahead and let's navigate to ad accounts under the business settings section of business manager. So let's go to ad accounts real quick. And as you can see right here, I don't have any ad accounts set up yet for Framingham window cleaning. Now I wanna point out really quickly that you have the ability to toggle back and forth between different accounts. So if you if you're logged in and you have uh, your personal account, of course, but also uh, business accounts, um, you can you can toggle back and forth between those. Right now, I'm in this business account. Let's go ahead and select this. It's going to refresh on me, actually. Let's go back to ad accounts. Uh, let's click on the add button here. And you've got, again, this is three options. You're going to see this repeat. We saw these three options show up when we went to go in and claim a business page. You have the ability to add a brand new account, which is actually down here where it says create a new ad account. You can add in an existing ad account uh, or you can request access. So what's the difference between these two? Add an ad account is one that you already have uh, some sort of a relationship with. So if I already had an ad account, uh, maybe under like my, my personal profile or some other uh, login or something like that, um, then I could add that into this account. Maybe I already had an ad account uh, set up for my business page where I was running the ads before. Uh, but if I don't, it has some sort of a relationship already with that ad account. Maybe it's a, a new client that I just won. I would need to request access to their ad account through this option right here. In a separate video, we will walk through that process of how to request access to someone else's ad account. But for you guys that are just getting started out, you'll want to go ahead and either opt for add an ad, ad account or create a new ad account. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and create a new ad account. Okay, on this screen here, you're going to need to give that new ad account a name. And I like to keep it consistent with uh, my, uh, my account over here. So Framingham Window Cleaning, that's a window cleaning business. I want to name it an ad account name. If I had set up this business manager account to be like uh, my my marketing agency, for example, I would have maybe called this like uh, Framingham M Marketing uh, Solutions or something like that, right? Not very creative name, but then I would want to create my ad account. It would be something along the lines of like Framingham Marketing Solutions. And that would be my ad account that I would use for my own business to get customers. But then I could create other ad accounts too um, under uh, my business manager, as well as getting access to those clients ad accounts. But in this case, let's keep things consistent. Okay, so Framingham window cleaning. All right, and I'm gonna keep my time zone as Eastern time, US dollars. Let's click on next, update these accordingly for wherever you're located and whatever currency you're using. And then in this case, I'm going to select my business. I'm running the ads for my business. If I was going to be running ads for someone else, then I would click under another business or client. Now, I just want to let you know that ideally, if you're going to be running ads for an, a client, you really want to try to either create an ad account for them through their account uh, or get access to their account and not run ads under your account for them. Well, let's go ahead and click on my business. Click create. And then in this case, I'm going to give this user, there's, there's only one user in here. I could have several users listed, but let's click on this user right here. And we're going to give this person the ability for managing campaign, campaigns, view performance, manage creative hub mockups, as well as manage ad accounts. So I'm going to just go ahead and toggle this, and that's going to turn all of those on. Uh, if I didn't want to give all those access levels to that person, I would just go and perhaps select uh, just one of these. And you can see that it turns all three of those on, but it keeps manage ad account off. So just keep this in mind. You got to be really careful how you want to set this up. In this case, uh, this is my wife's account setting this up under this new ad account here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give her full admin access. So let's go ahead and select assign. Nice work. All right. So let's go ahead and select close here. And now we've got our ad account set up. There you go. So there's the name of our ad account. You can see that she's added. Now in a separate video, we'll show you guys how to add in people or how to add in partners. That way they can help assist with this. So if I wanted to uh, bring someone on staff to help run the ads, I could add them 
um, they'd have to be invited into our business manager and then added on to the ad account and to the page to run ads for us. And then we could set them up with different admin rights, as we just saw when we were setting up uh, Amanda here uh, with her uh, admin rights. We could set up someone with uh, just analyst rights, for example. Assign partners. What this means is if you were to assign maybe a th uh, third-party marketing agency as opposed to a person, uh, you could add in that, uh, that partner, that agency uh, in here to be able to use the ad account. Okay. All right, guys, now we have a page and an ad account set up for our new business manager account. I'm going to move on to the next video. Okay, great. So that wraps up how to add in a new ad account. So we've got a new page added in here as well as a new ad account. Awesome.